how and we build up to the 2017 AFCON in Gabon. And Jonathan Mensa will be hoping to play at his fifth consecutive Nations Cup. And it, we went over to his home to speak to him on what the prospect looks like for the Black Stars, the challenges and Avam Grant, and if he believes that the nation can end an over three decades wait of a Nations Cup trophy. Um, I think it's okay. It's okay for me because uh, due to some circumstances, I couldn't start the league uh, when we started the preseason. Our last, uh, our last game before the the first league game, we played against uh, Watford and uh, I hit my my hip on the on the backboard, so I couldn't start the league. So I missed a couple of games, one or two games before I started playing. So <clears throat> it's been a good season for me because uh, if you look, we play 15 games first half of the season. So playing nine games, it's not bad. If I was fit, I was going to play all the games. Believe me. <laughs> Tell us, you've been in France, you know, you've played at, you know, some other countries. How is football in Russia like? It's very good very competitive and uh, we got some quality players also in the league so it's as compared to france it's different in, in terms of uh, the plays the championship itself but you know russian league also is, is also competitive so i would say it's, it's it's like almost the same challenge for me what makes football in Russia, you know, exciting or a bit difficult? Is it the weather? You know, what are the factors that determine how football is played in Russia? It does, but when, when, when this cold starts, uh, the league breaks so that we, we also see our families, do whatever we want to do on our free times. So um, the weather itself is, is not really an issue because uh, during the... Uh, the, in, in, in December, they break the league so that we, we can just have some, some free time because of the weather in December. You're playing at Angie Masaskala right now, you know, you've been to a Vienne, you know, in a couple of places. Would you say you have fulfilled that potential that everybody knew of Jonathan Mensah from 2009 when you won the FIFA Under-20 World Cup with Ghana? Uh, I'm thankful for God. I'm very thankful because uh, I've come a long way, you know, but I still have a, a long way to go because this our career is very difficult, but we always do our best, you know, to maintain the body, to maintain our form, and that is not easy. If uh, you know, because you, you're in this business, so, you know, I'm just thankful that I'm, I'm still doing my best and progressing, so... Uh, yeah, I would say I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with what I'm doing now and I want to do more for my country, for my club and for myself. So we still, we still, we keep pushing. Let's get into the 2017 Nations Cup in Gabon. It is one that a lot of us know that you players are looking forward to, Ghanaians are looking forward to because if there's anything you must do, to at least calm down Ghanaians with the way they feel about this Black Stars team, then it means that you guys would have to win the Nations Cup in Gabon. I think we should, we should just keep our calm and just take it from where we left it in Equatorial Guinea. Because uh, we didn't start good, but we finished uh, very, very good. So we, we just have to start from where we finished and uh, if you look at the game we played against the Avicos in the final, it wasn't a bad game but um, you know penalty kicks uh, decided who to win it and uh, fortunately we couldn't so we will do all our best, take it game after game, we have to qualify from our group before we see what, what is next for, for us so we just have to keep our calm and just take game after game and win the the people back. We played in with them, mm -hmm. uh, you know. We we like uh, we 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 are the prodigal son, mm -hmm. so yeah, we still their sons. So they have to consider us and just support the team. Whether we do well now, we do well later, 
But for now, we need them a lot and we play with them. They should support the team. It's been a difficult time under Avram Grant, you know, in the last, especially in the last five games that the Black Stars have played. In these games, we have seen Uganda, we have seen Egypt. And then again, we are looking at the Nations Cup where we're playing against Egypt, you know, and all of that. You know, is there something lacking in this team that has resulted in the lack of wins over the last five games we have seen the Black Stars play? Um, I think first and foremost, I would just say our performance is not that great as compared to previous uh, performances. Because uh, no matter what's going on behind closed doors, we as players also need to do our best on the field. So um, whatever that's happening outside might probably affect us, but we shouldn't just give whatever that's happening outside affect us on the on the field. So we just have to do our best, and uh, the rest also needs uh, to be solved. Because uh, if not, then it, you know it's it's always going to come back to us. Because uh, we got leaders that is leading the team, and uh, when things go right there, we as players also get it right. So uh, I hope you know things are being arranged and uh, fixed for us to also be, be 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 fixed on the on the on the field. You guys here, fam your families tell you the kind of things Ghanaians say say about the black stars and all of that. Does it really hurt you? How, how do you guys feel, personally yourself, how do you feel when you begin to sink in some of these things that people say about you guys, as in you guys are greedy, you guys don't think about the nation, and that's why you demand so much? Uh, I think, yeah, we do, we do get hurt, because uh, you can hear some hateful comments, but uh, you don't need to that, like listen to that too much. Because uh, for me, it will not affect me, but for some players, it might. So uh, uh, some words are very harsh to hear from them or from a friend or anything. So uh, as I said earlier on, we're just pleading with them. If uh, these people uh, saying hateful stuff to us, our siblings, I'm sure they will not do that. So. Uh, yeah, we will, we will do our best so that we bring this uh, nation, nation say uh, football back up. Did this really play in you guys taking, you know, um, taking the consideration of reducing the winning bonus from ten thousand to eight thousand? With with some of these comments, reasons why you guys, you know, agreed to reduce the winning bonus? Because I think we we. we God's grace, we working. We work in Europe. We ending good money, and uh, we come to the Black Stars to to play because we love to play for our country, and uh, it's not about the money. So whatever happened, the reducing of bonuses and all that, we didn't look at that part, but we were looking at how to do our best on the field because if you do your best, you can even get more from the leaders because you you guys are really giving everything on the field. So reducing the bonuses and all that, you know, we were just fine with it because that is not where our focus and our, 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 our target is. Our target is on doing very well for the country and uh, that is how it's, it's been always. So we keep it that way. Grant leads this team to AFCON 2017. There's a lot of, you know, criticism and backlash on him even a lot of people calling on the FA to say that let Avram Grant go because, you know, he, he does not stay in this country, he, he is not doing well, he's not adding up any new players to the team. Personally, as players, what are your thoughts on, you know, Coach Avram Grant? Uh, this, this is very tough. It's a tough question, but what I want to say is we have no choice than to play under any coach. Because uh, what we're doing now is like a, crash, a classroom. You go there, you have a teacher that is teaching you. You cannot say, I don't like this teacher. I like him or not. You just have to just obey to whatever he says because he's the class teacher and he's going to tell you what to do. And yeah, we will, you know, we will be glad to work under him or any other coach. Grant led us to the 2015 Nations Cup final. 
do, are you confident you know he can repeat this feat again and even st take it a step further in winning the trophy uh, he's good he's good that is why Ghana appointed him and uh, he came in very late but he did well with the team we finished uh, second but that is not what Ghanaians want so he's you know he he needs to do more for the Ghanaians to see that you know he's doing his job so uh, we need to give him the support and uh, he needs it because he's working with us so we will just do our best whether it's him or a different person so what is that special relationship you have with God I'm sure every every human being does. You know, sometimes you even have a relationship with uh, other humans. But uh, we're talking about God here, and God is my protector, my strength, my everything. So um, I'm a Christian before a footballer. So I give him all the praise. I thank him for my life, because without him blessing with me with my life once again, I I can never play football. I cannot do what I love. So. Uh, I'm always praising him because he's made me who I am now. The special picture here, Jonathan Menson tells us he wants to talk about. Jonah, the, the emotion from this picture tells the story perfectly well. Um, we nearly won it, but we couldn't, so we couldn't hold our tears. This was uh, Andre Ayu. <laughs> this was... A sad moment, but you know we 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 lost it already. So we we just needed to encourage each other and move on, because uh, we've you know we've waited for two years now, and uh, we will go again in January and hopefully win the trophy. So we can get another great picture to overshadow this one. Although this one is one special one. Thank you very much, Jonathan Mensah.